So this water helps you keep your blood. So if we put yucky stuff in our body all the time, our, our body has to really work hard to keep our blood at 7.34. But if we're helping our body by drinking this good alkaline water, our body doesn't have to work so hard. It doesn't have to pull from the bones and the tissues in order to keep our bud, b blood buffered. It pulls minerals from our bones and our tissues. Just to, This is why people that are drink distilled water or reverse osmosis water start to lose bone density. They're losing the minerals out of their body. And they're, um, I got, when I was drinking reverse osmosis for seven years, my body tissues were breaking down. I tore my ACL, I was always hurting my ankle. All kinds of things were happening when I wasn't getting the right minerals in my body. I had a mineral deficiency, I was on antidepressants, I was on sleeping pills, all kinds of problems with my body. But once I got it mineralized and alkalized, it works wonderful. So let me show you. Okay, I've got um, some pH drops right here. They're just gonna, I'm just gonna drop this in the different liquids and it's gonna change colors depending on the pH of the liquid. So here are your colors. When you see um, blue or purple, that's alkaline, okay? When you see yellow or uh, orange, it's acidic. So here we go. Just watch the cups. And again, I poured, poured all this ahead of time so that you, we can uh, save time. All right, so if we've got a little stir, can see that these two are extremely acidic. Okay, Gatorade and soda are in the orange section. So they're really acidic for our bodies. The Dasani and the Aquafina, these two are distilled waters. I mean, not distilled, excuse me, reverse osmosis waters. Did you know that these are actually banned in Japan? Not even allowed to get them there. They're considered toxic waters there. Our tap water looks like this because it's federally regulated. They put chlorine in it, which is good. We want our water to be clean. We want to be able to have the convenience of tap water but because it's so nice that it just comes out of the tap and we want it clean. We don't want to get sick and Giardia and coli and stuff, bacteria that can get in our... So we like that they put chlorine in. But then they add lye so that it doesn't rust the pipes. Running through the pipes with, with all acidic would ruin the pipes. So then they put lye, L-Y-E, which raises the pH level of the water. And there's about 10 other chemicals in our tap water. So tap water is not awesome. What I love about the common water is that, look how nice and, and alkaline that is. Um, what I love about it is that it's convenient like tap water, it goes through the machine and it cleans out the chemicals that the government adds. So you're getting all those yucky chemicals out. We have a filtration system where it takes out even the fluoride and all the chemicals and you are left with pure clean water. And then it goes through the machine and ionizes the naturally occurring minerals. And this is how you get this nice, this is just alkalized. And this is why our bodies absorb this very quickly too, which I showed you. But life is acidic. Like I said, you've got, you got the air that we breathe is acidic and the exercises that we do and, and just life's acidic. But when we're drinking our common water, we can counteract some of the acidity that we put into our body. Did you know that stress is one of the biggest acidifiers that there is out there? It just stressing or worrying about life, it causes acidity in the body. So it's important to be drinking our nice alkaline water so we can counteract some of that acidity and help our bodies keep our blood buffered without having to pull from the minerals from our body. We can't just drink anything. We can't think, oh, I've got my, my good common water so I can put anything I want into my body. No, that's not a good idea. Look, I could pour and 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 I could not get this to change. Did you know that one, one can of soda, you have to drink five gallons of this deep, dark 9.5 water to counteract what one gallon does and turn it to a, a seven. Five gallons. If you gotta have a soda, then just plan on drinking five gallons of water. Eventually people just go, oh my word, I don't even want soda anymore. Because, you know, my dad used to have a refrigerator full of every kind of soda there was for all of his grandkids. And they could come over and choose any soda they wanted. And when he saw this demonstration and saw what one little sip of soda can do to his grandkids' body that, they've been, that they're trying to keep healthy, he never bought soda again. His fridge now is stocked with fresh fruits and vegetables. And I love that he did that. He drank soda all of his life. He had kidney stones a lot of his life. Now he is, knows 
people just don't know. Do you know this is free um, <clears throat> at Cafe Rio on Wednesdays? How do I know that? Because I used to always go on Wednesdays so that I could get you know a free soda with my with my salad. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's at birthday parties. Is it church parties? It's um, it's the cheapest thing at McDonald's. You know, one dollar for any size you want. Stay away from this, guys. This stuff is what keeps doctors in business. It's it's not it's not good for us. It acidifies our body. Drink your good alkalized Kangen water all day long if you want to feel amazing and get rid of the sicknesses in your body and feel awesome.